So this home, one of the things that was really important was being able to capture the sun and the whole passive solar concept. In the winter time, we calculate the overhangs. When the sun is lower, the sun comes all the way into the room. In the summertime, because of, again, the way that we've done the overhangs, the sun doesn't come in at all. And you'll notice that today is the first day of spring, so it's in just a little bit. So we, we work with the sun, we orient the house such that this big south-facing wall works for us, not against us. So we're standing back here at the south facade of this house, and as you can see, it is just cloaked in glass. And that's one of the things that we really focus on, the orientation obviously being very important. Um, and part of, that, part of that orientation process, part of that south facade is sun control. And one of the ways we achieve sun control, you know, in the typical way with, with the roof overhang here, and, what, and that's, that's calculated based on the angles of the sun in the different seasons. And so in the wintertime you'll get more sun in and then in the summertime we'll block the sun out. And so we use the, the structure itself to uh, improve the energy performance of the building. And one of the things that's really nice about this structure is the floor system cantilevers out over the lower level. And what that does is provide sun control for these south facing windows. So in this case, the roof eave provides that shading for the upper level and then this cantilever provides that same shading for the lower level. Right now, this cantilever portion is, is open and exposed, um, but eventually this will get a, a piece of sheathing underneath it and then we will spray foam the inside of that so it'll get, the envelope will be totally complete and insulated all the way through. So one of the aspects that we've talked about in passive solar is lots of glass because that allows the sun to come in, warm the slab, warm the room, warm the people. The other thing that windows do is they extend the space. So no matter what size this space is, if you have this big wall of windows, your vision keeps on going and the space feels bigger. So whether it's on a south side or a north side or an east side or a west side, you get that same expansive view. One of the things that a lot of people ask for are lots of windows. That's one of the aspects that you'll see in a lot of our homes. One of the things that we try to do is to keep the top of the windows even with the top of the door because that keeps that aesthetic line down the wall. We want them a little bit off of the floor, one for safety, but also because then we can put the electric outlets underneath the windows and we don't have to worry about that space. So in the world of windows, there are varying price points. Um, and so operable windows obviously cost more than fixed windows. But the other thing that fixed windows do is it doesn't block your view. You get this whole expanse of glass and you just keep looking and you don't have those bars, you know, in the middle or, in, you know, either direction. And we have some homes that because of the style of the home, we might have some grill work in the windows, but typically, you know, they're, they keep them pretty clean because that expands your view. You know, we do a lot with fixed windows because we have people that come in and say they want every window in the house to open because they want that, that breeze. And, you know, there, but there are also some people that whether it's allergies, whether, you know, whatever it is that they don't open the windows. So we always say, well, why put operable windows if you're not gonna use them? And so the fixed windows give us that ability to have that view and then we'll strategically place operable windows around the house so that you can get that, that continuous ventilation. So there's this balance of the fixed windows versus operable windows and what the benefits that you're going to get from them. And that's one of the things that we always walk through with folks is let's talk about the priorities of those placements for the operable.